Um, hi, I'm talking about an entrepreneur series that I'm going to do uh, video blogs on and eventually uh, get my book out, Rule Number One, The Entrepreneur Has Fun. And uh, the reason for the the uh, series and the book is, is uh, threefold, I think. One, I think the only way out of the current economic doldrums is for people to look at the possibility of becoming or working with an entrepreneur, particularly entrepreneurs who love what they're doing, entrepreneurs that, that uh, look and think, this is my dream, I want to live it. Uh, and I think that the entrepreneurs of today, the ones that I want to address, are the ones that uh, know that they have a dream, are moving towards the dream, one for the profit motive, one because it makes the money, but much more relevant is they're moving towards the dream because, or towards entrepreneurship, because it takes them to higher states of awareness. Uh, one of the things that they have to know is that their physiological needs are met, and I think that accounts for quite a few people on the planet right now. And then if we can find uh, together what is the dream, uh, that's probably uh, one of the most relevant factors is what is it that when you're doing it, you lose yourself? What is it that when you're doing it, nothing else matters and you go to higher states of awareness and you absolutely enjoy those states? Um, one thing you have to understand is those states can be scary. Uh, that's why I do what I do. We go out into those states together and look and see how to have a lot of fun there and then see if you can recreate those states by living the dream that you want to live and producing money. Uh, Joseph Campbell, most Western writers say that we are action-oriented, we Westerners, and to move towards our dreams, it's going to take something of action, something that's moving through. Now, Joseph Campbell again talks about follow your bliss, and I'm not sure, I've got to read a little more of Joseph Campbell, but I'm not sure that he shows you how to do it. Uh, I've been an entrepreneur for a lot of years. <laughs> um, I've said for years, if I had to say do it all over again, I would have stayed in an entrepreneur's business, a man who was living his dream, and, and to this day is a chiropractor's chiropractor. He just loves what he's doing and loves seeing that other chiropractors become better chiropractors. And uh, I worked for him for a while, and I would have lived within the dream. So that's a possibility. If you're not a dreamer and if you're not an entrepreneur and you do want to live a higher quality of life, then find somebody who's living a higher quality of life through their entrepreneurship and see if your desires and dreams fit within theirs. And if they do, then make the match and have fun with that person and see that that person has fun. Uh, throughout this series, what I will be going back to again and again and again is a phenomena called ruthlessness. Uh, there are charts that I use. Uh, the charts were developed by Martin Sage. I worked closely with Martin Sage for a lot of years. Some say too many years, but... Uh, he was developing the charts one time, and he put ruthlessness on the heart chakra. And I looked, and I said, no, that doesn't make sense. And he said, who else is, who else is going to be ruthless for your happiness? Is happiness, unconditional love, ruthlessness, responsibility, lays here on your heart. And if you don't take your dream and handle it ruthlessly and surround yourself with people who want you to live your dream, uh, you're going to lose it. And if you don't take the responsibility that you're the only person that can be responsible for your happiness, you're going to lose it. Uh, so we're going to go back again and again and again to ruthless. When somebody comes into your dream, comes into your life, and it looks like they want to take your dream away, to have the courage, to have the strength, to have the ruthlessness to get rid of them. To get them to leave no matter what it takes. Either they decide to leave, or you decide that they are going to leave. The series is uh, going to be little tidbits, things that you can do when you're starting your own business. Uh, and But first of all, you've got to look and see what is the business. If it's somebody else's good idea, it's going to backfire. It's going to come back and bite you in the ass because you're going to be doing shit that you don't want to do. You're going to, Somebody's going to go, oh man, you're so good at this. You should do that for a living. You should make a business out of that. But you have to pay attention to your own self. That's why I do my classes. Uh, my most fun class is a class called self-actualization and I do it because it lets you look at what you really truly want to do and then allows the universe to move towards you in such a way that when you are doing it the forces are working with you so have as much fun if that's your motivation as you can uh, be happy 
and talk to you soon. www.micpeakperformance.com.